Hello, hello, Facebook and YouTube fam. This is your girl Stephanie, aka ED Nihas to South the Five. Currently here doing element reads and I am on air signs. Okay, and the song that was playing before I, I purposely waited to see what song was gonna play before I hit record as the music stops to play once I hit record. But it was a song about empowerment. And the chorus goes, I believe in me. And where I am right now is where I need to be. I'm wanted and I'm worthy. There's no limit what I can achieve. Okay. I believe in me and where I am right now is where I need to be. There's nothing. My past is not determined. I'm wanted and I'm worthy. There's no limit what I can achieve. Something like that. Ooh. All right, so we got three cards to fill out here. And let's see what they are. The Chariot, Five of Cups, and Knight of Cups. Okay, so this is moving forward and willpower and determination past relationships that may have fallen apart. Knight of Cups, but not being jaded by this uh, ending of this relationship and still moving forward in love. Why? Because you believe in you and where you are right now is where you need to be. If this relationship didn't work, it, it was meant not to work. You know, this is divine, this is divinely orchestrated to get you to where you where you need to be. High priestess, come on. To get in tune with your intuition, to grow more, uh, grow deeper spiritually. You know, because you may have had signs that said, okay, I, it's, it's, I need I need to walk away, but you didn't take that leap of faith. You didn't listen, you know. And so now you're at the energy of where you've been forced to see the truth, you know. And you will have the victory. Period. You will be victorious in ending this uh, this old cycle of you being the fool because you didn't listen to your intuition. It's all right though, you know what I'm saying. It happens to the best of us. Okay. So protect your peace at this time, at all costs. Spirit is blessing you with the ending, you know. The hard part is over, okay? You didn't see the toxicity in this person or you ignored, more like you ignored the toxicity that, uh, and signs that this person showed you and you kept wanting to move forward you know but <laughs> you know if you don't walk away from the spirit gonna take it away from you and i feel like spirit intervene in some way you need to know that you will be abundant like you are you know you will be successful look at that the card coming out surrender surrender to this release the bottom of the deck of the tarot cards is the nine of staffs it's time for you to stop playing the victim and to you know, begin to set up healthy boundaries as well. Inner child, look at that. So your inner child may be triggered right now by the release, the release of this uh, relationship. But this is all to bring about wisdom, to maybe help you to see what inner child issues that you may be dealing with that triggered this situation. And we have benediction. Usually, I, I, when I think about benediction, I'm thinking like the ending words, the final words. So if you need to give a, a final benediction to this relationship, just to kind of give yourself closure. Kind of, you know, think about the things that you didn't, the red flags that you didn't see. And, and you know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't see this, but it's okay because it's the ending now. You know, just <laughs> create a benediction. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to help you to transmute this energy. You know? Like I said, you may be feeling down and depressed about it. But transmutation. You can transmute the dark into light. Maybe write out, you know, I am presence. You need to get in tune with your God presence. Your God energy. And know that this is divinely orchestrated. Like I said before, I believe I did say. Anyway, this is divinely orchestrated. 
and then look at that the retreat card spirit needs you to be in this isolated energy i wouldn't say isolated in this energy of solitude you know give, give it's giving me hermit energy so that you can you know really see the greatness that is within you the abundance that lies within that 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 lies within you bottom of the deck is willpower willpower and and just to have faith you know faith in yourself this is going to teach you to have faith in yourself because it's only you and god source spirit universe jesus buddha whatever you believe it's just on that's all you have to believe and rely on and that's exactly where spirit wants you to be so that you can truly see that you are stronger you are stronger you are strong beyond measure okay and you don't need the validation of someone else um, around you we have the nine of swords and the five of staffs you know the nine of swords is that anxiety energy sleepless nights the drama competition just you know negative energy but believe in you you can get through this you got this don't play the victim stand up and protect yourself with the king of staffs here over the, the high priestess really listen to your um, intuition and cut out those things that are no longer serving you if it's not feeding you if you think about this person or this energy and you get down then don't some that that that's that's a sign that you need to remove that person from your life you know what i'm saying there might be a, fe a feminine energy around you that's you know just a bitch energy you know always negative she's in competition with you you know she you know stay up at night trying to figure out how she can one up you type shit but she's only uh she only gonna trap herself up <laughs> you know so that's not that's neither here nor there don't even worry about this chick or do you know don't even worry about it just know that they're there <laughs> you know but strength card is the bottom of the deck you are stronger you are strong beyond measure so implore the willpower your willpower to surrender to this energy to really you know see what inner child traumas is triggering this emotion of maybe hopelessness and helplessness to move beyond that and to begin to heal because you are the truth you are victory own your sexuality you know what I'm saying you may have you know somewhere someone around you that is jealous of just the nat natural you know sensual energy that you embody but that's not your fault that's just it may be just in your birth chart you know what I'm saying you can't help it it's just you that bitch or you that dude Yeah, this is about you finding you, loving you, embracing your femininity and everything about you, not dimming your light down for no uh, basic ass bitch. They basic, them being basic is the personal problem. They ain't got nothing to do with you. If anything, they need to look at you and step their game up. Okay? So it may be some friendships that you're having to walk away from because, you know, you're sensing the jealousy. The low key, the low little digs they be trying to throw every now and then. You ain't got to put up with that. You ain't got to put up with that. Spirit is showing you, giving you the opportunity for you to see this person for who they truly are. And to walk away. Spirit is trying to download you about this person. And to move on to calmer waters. 
They may be trying to start a drama, a, an argument. Whoever the next person that come to you and try to start an argument or some shit. <laughs> that might be the person you need to walk the fuck away from. To start setting up healthy boundaries. Like, you know what? I got to block you. You can't, you can't just come over to my house anytime you want to anymore. Sorry. I'm cutting that off. You call me. Don't expect me to just stay on the phone with you because you called me. I'm, I'm busy right now. I'll call you when I have the energy to deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Protect your peace. Follow your intuition. Follow your intuition because it's trying to show you, you know, these immature people around you that are triggering childhood traumas. But it's time for you to also, again, get wiser about your childhood traumas and know that you can transmute that energy. You can heal that energy. Look at that Ace of Cups. With self-love. You know, the Ace of Cups is about loving yourself. The cup overflowing, you know, loving yourself so much that the cup overflows. And there's no room for negativity or nothing to, to, to get into your cup. Because it's constantly, it's constantly filtering out the bullshit because it's just overflowing. Love just keeps overflowing out of you. So there's no room for the negativity to come in and to get in. You know? But with you being an empath, it's going to may take because uh, we do have empathy here. It's going to take willpower for you to perhaps to free yourself. Liberation is the card after uh, the empath, and then courage. It's going to again. It's going to take courage for you to walk away from this person because, especially if you're a Libra, because Libras want everybody. They they don't know how to make a decision. <laughs> They they see they on this side and they on this side. They straddle the fence. There's no more you can't ain't, ain't no straddling the fence no more. It's time for you to be definitive about what you deserve and who's around you that can help you go to the next level and being truthful and honest with yourself about who's around you that's keeping you stagnant with with their mentality and the way they think and the actions that they take. Like I said, I am presence. Your God self, your goddess energy, your God energy is trying to arise. And you need to retreat to really tap into that abundance of, you know, strength and, you know, maybe the elevation of your psychic abilities to, to grow and that you, so that you can have more faith within yourself. Because I believe in me and where I am right now is where I need to be. My past is not determined, wanted, and I'm worthy. There's no limit what I can achieve. I believe in me and where I am right now is where I need to be. My past is not determined, wanted, and I'm worthy. There's no limit what I can achieve. I think the veins about to pop out in my neck and get me trying to hit them notes. Sorry if that hurt your ears <laughs> or whatever. But don't you worry about these haters around them. The grave that they digging for you, they gonna fall. What's up, Anubis? Y'all see him. What's up, man? Don't, now, don't be getting on my blanket and stuff because this is not for you. You need some more water. Got slobber coming out the side, off the side of your mouth. I seen him earlier. I was like, you need to go. You need some water. And he was literally walking right to the water to get some drink. But that water is definitely not the best. And I don't have any water in my bag or nothing for him to drink it out of. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I have for you. He's, he's steady pissing. You need all that, all your water to stay in your body, sir. You don't need to be pissing everywhere trying to mark your territory. Sorry. Maybe that's that air energy. <laughs> I'm here, there, and everywhere. Anyway, like I was saying, that's what I have for you. I hope that helped in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I love you all, and until next time, peace.